Hey, what is up, guys? It is Olvi, and I'm joined by a special person. Goes by the name of Mr. Donut. Hello, and this is Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, uh, I'm a special man. <laughs> Very special. <laughs> See, just editing time right there, and <laughs> wow. So here we have a nice little textbook takeoff and landing. Look at, <laughs> look at him go. Nice little bit of uh, in-flight maneuvers and everything. Oh, do you think uh, Jebediah is a nice little peanut? Jebediah, that's not Jebediah yeah, flying. Like, uh, but oh, is that not Jebediah? That was what my was first. Asshole? That was my first attempt at flying anyway. <laughs> yeah, I put infinite fuel on so I could just take a small ship that I know how to fly. <laughs> um, and it's got an aerospike rocket for speed on the back. You know... Oh, nice. Oh, um... Too much Yeah. No, the, there was that... You know, you know the wheels are actually set onto the couplers, so there was a staging fail, and they decoupled before the engine went off. <laughs> That's a nice little design flaw we have right there. Uh, what on earth were you planning to do with the um, decouplers on the wheels? Oh, it was like, propping it up. Oh. It was propping it up so it would be level when it landed. I see. You see how it is? So, this... uh, what? What's that? Oh, this one's a lot, a lot better, you know? Got a nice little controlled little plane. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at it go. This is my best creation. It's also got air brakes that I've installed on it. Yeah. Oh, air brakes. Yeah. Is that a mod or is it like just uh, RCS? This, this is all vanilla parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's an oh, RCS it's um, linear port thrusters. So, um, uh, going anywhere special? Uh, <laughs> going on holiday? Go, uh... <laughs> Actually, I need to explain something. This is an Easter egg that I'm going to show. And you see the little pink thing on the ball. You might not be able to see it because I'm spazzing around a bit. There's a little pink ball on the brown side of the ball. Just near the, t near the 270 mark. There's a little pink mark on the thingy so yes flip. i see that the where um, another spacecraft is yeah no 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 if look i'm flying no. towards it right now it's like at this at this orientation you fly towards this little pink book there's a little pink thing you'll see wow what's that noise oh there what noise oh uh, you just got really oh no oh no what i don't know it doesn't matter um i can't <laughs> something just What's ran. That noise? Something it's really. <laughs> uh, so basically, if you fly at this sort of orientation, there's a little pink mark around just next to the 270 mark. If you fly towards that, you can actually fly in atmosphere and do it. But I decided I would go into space for quickness. So you you took a jet engine into space. It's not a jet. It's not a jet <laughs> engine. It's a, it's a rocket. Oh, spike. what is that? It's a rocket. Uh, Aero spike. spike. I always thought the um, the rocket spike was a jet engine. Though. No, huh, it's like I a freaking. But it eats fuel like a mofo, that's why I turn the infinite fuel on. You see, I'm just editing my orbit to go... You see, I already have a craft there. I'm just... Yeah. So I can know where to go. Um, but the thing is, it tells you where to go on the little ball. There's a little pink little pink thing on the nav ball. And you'll see it. Yeah. And I'm just out making my orbit go towards there. And then I'll just cut the engines in a minute once the orbit's big enough. Oh man, you ever noticed that uh, the area where the Kerbin Space Program is kind of looks a bit like Africa? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> I always wondered if that was like a feature, or is it like uh, some kind of massive accident that's, that turned out to... <laughs> now we yeah, just wait. We have to just... The thing is, it just has to wait and glide through the sky like a like an apple pie. Like an apple pie? Apple oh, pie's man. glide? Oh, oh, I'm so hungry now. <laughs> uh, See, just speed up time casually. Think... Wee. Yeah, yeah. Six miles an hour. Speed up time. You know. This plane. <laughs> God. Uh, going in for impended impact. It's okay. Yeah, nice little. Um, you, can little first, you can see the little. You can see that. You can see that little crater on the left. To the left of the nav ball, there's a little pink uh, mark. That's that. That's where we're going. I kind of overshoot it a little bit. And, um, well... Are we, are we going to go for a uh, textbook landing? Or uh, <laughs> yeah, is it gonna be it's like going nice... to be a textbook landing. Definitely. Oh, yeah. If it's, it's going to be anything like your first plane, I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> going to flip your way on the landing pad, you know? VTOL. Not intentional VTOL, but... <laughs> no, like I'm just trying to, trying to slow down. I'm doing 2,000 <laughs> metres a second. 2,000 metres a second. It's, like, not good at all. <laughs> See, I'm going past it now. It's a bit. Whoa. You're slowing down by accelerating forward. <laughs> I'm not actually slowing down. I'm trying to pull up. I'm trying to get some forward momentum. <laughs> I have plenty of that. See, the thing is, so it wouldn't is lift. It... <laughs> I couldn't get it this to is lift. Like, uh, the... 
it kind of looks like the Kerbal sav- um, Savannah. So you've got like the little Kerb and elephants and the little Kerb and giraffes. <laughs> Kerb and giraffes. You're going to ruin their, gonna ruin their uh, habitat there. <laughs> the Jebediah is flying and he's got a smile on his face so he's all happy. There's a there's a beach, you know, a little sandcastle. There's no sea, but it's a beach. <laughs> it's a it's beach. It's like a desert, but really small. <laughs> it's like a Minecraft <laughs> it's a <dry> beach. <laughs> <laughs> The pre one point seven point three um <laughs> biomes yeah. when you had like uh, four blocks of sand and that was a desert biome. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to panic at this point because if you look at my altitude, it's not the highest and it's not pulling up. No, you're only like three kilometers up in the sky. <laughs> but that's still not that's still like at the rate I'm falling, it's not that high. No, you're uh you're, you're avoiding uh, commercial airliners, you know, <laughs> avoiding helicopters com- in a way. <laughs> commercial Kerbal <laughs> airliners. <laughs> Thank you for flying Kerbal Air. Kerbal Air. It's kind of weird because the only uh, the only actual evidence of any population on the planet is the space center. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's this? This is a really long crossfade. Oh, there was a crater went up. Really. So long. Is, this is landing. Oh, there's a pink thing. Oh, oh are we coming in? Yeah. And you see my uh, RCS boosters there? I put them on to help land. Oh. And I put, like, you know, my air brake. So this is uh, coming into land, I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah this, is, this is coming into land. <laughs> uh, this is tense. <laughs> this is a tense moment for everyone. This is a very tense moment. We've got uh, the RCS is moving <laughs> <laughs> forward as an air brake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. It's getting a bit wobbly. Well, we're getting a bit wobbly. Turbulence. See, Jebediah is still happy in the situation. Yeah, he's got his in-flight peanuts. He's got his wet towel. I'll give you a bit of a got... bit of an idea. This is a bit of a balls up. Oh, oh no, oh no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, textbook uh, landing. Uh, <laughs> Text, uh, textbook landing right there. Textbook landing. Luckily, like luckily, I already had had another um a pla- another plane that was already there. Here's what I made it. Here's what I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> See, I already... But there's a problem with this plane. The engines fell off when I landed, so I can't get it back. <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. You'll see that in a minute. Look, there's no engines on it. <laughs> they fell off. <laughs> oh, wow. So, um... That's the other flight scent. Is that... That's... It's got... Oh, wow, it's tiny. <laughs> so it's just like the Russian just put the equivalent gears. of, yeah. like, the space yeah. centre. Yeah, it's like the Russian equivalent. There's like a little uh, little satellite over there. We'll, we'll just go over there. of Jebediah everywhere. Did you know? Um, did you know that you could actually like in the atmosphere when you're controlling Kerbals, you could speed up time so you can walk faster. Look. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I've got like the so you... triple speed on, so I can walk around faster. So here's you walking through the ground. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just it's actually floating. The whole place is floating. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird, look, because I don't know what this is. It's like a Russian Kerbal base. It's weird. It's, um, it's the, uh, the other, the other space center. I'm zoomed out quite it's like a lot. A, it's like Chernobyl, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, um, little Kerbal there, he's going to die of, uh, radiation poisoning. <laughs> so he's not going to last much longer, but he's, he's happy, you know? Well, that, that, that's, that's kind of about it for this video. There's about 30 seconds left. But I, I don't know. I've, I've went up to this now, and I'm like, how can my rockets that I build fit in here? Because they're like freaking 50 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Look, at, it's like Magic. floating. Apparently the road is hot going through the door. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's normal. I don't know if you've ever been to the UK, but that happens all the time. <laughs> okay. Oh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks, Mr. Donut, for coming with us. It, it was a pleasure. Goodbye. Sayonara.